I'm Sandra Hodson, and I am the owner and artist at Gordacopia. Welcome to my workshop. I love working with gourds. They're three-dimensional, they come in every size and shape you can imagine, and they're all natural. So it's quite fun to see what I can create out of these pieces of nature. In this video, I'd like to take you on a little journey through the making of a gourd piece of gourd art. Now I have a piece here that I completed last year, and we're going to try, go through the process of making something very similar to this. So first, we have to take a trip out to my gourd pile. So here you can see one of my several boxes of gourds. Now I've gone down to Welburn's Gourd Farm in Temecula and picked out quite a number of gourds that I'm going to use for my art this year. The gourd that we saw on the bench in there that was completed is very similar to this one. So we're going to choose it and create something kind of like what's in it, what I showed you before. So now that we've chosen the gourd, what's next? Well, as you can see, there's a big difference in how these two gourds look. One is very grubby and dirty, the other one's clean and shiny. So the next step we have to take in our gourd adventure is the scrubbing. So let's take a trip into the kitchen to see. I've found that the best thing for cleaning gourds is a simple metal hot scrubber. You just turn on the water and start scrubbing. It's important to scrub all the dark, moldy stuff off. So as you can see, this is pretty dirty, but it's not, it's scrubbing off fairly easily. After several minutes of scrubbing, you can see we have all the brown moldy stuff cleaned off the score. Now we'll dry it off and it's ready to design. Welcome to my art corner. This is where I do the designing and painting of my gourds. Now what we'll do right now is put a design on this gourd and then we'll take it back out to the garage workshop where we will cut and carve it. So let's get busy drawing a design. Now let's take a closer look at this, the finished gourd that I showed you earlier. You'll notice that it's a cut spiral. And I think that's what I want to do on this other gourd as well. So you can see there's an opening to the inside of the gourd and then it spirals up to the top. Okay, it's taken me a couple of days but we finally have a design on our gourd. So now that we have this all done and we're ready to go with it, we're gonna head out to the garage workshop again and actually do some cutting and carving. Okay, one thing that is important to note is that you cannot do any carving or cutting of gourds without protective gear. Gourd dust is very toxic and you do not want to be breathing it in. So now I look like the creature from the Black Lagoon but I'm safer this way. Now, you'll note here, this is my carving tool. Now I'm going to put this little bit in there and this is a cutting bit and it will help me cut out the opening of the gourd. Okay, we've made our cut, and now you have the cut gourd. Now notice all this stuff in it. Well, that is the inner gourd innards. That's all the seed pods and such. If you've ever cut open a pumpkin, it's a very similar thing. But you can see here the membrane with the seeds attached. And we're quite lucky on this gourd because its insides are not too grubby and stuff in there. All right, so there you have the cut. And you can see this is gonna be kind of an interesting effect here because you have this funny little top going. I may or may not keep that, I'm not sure. 
we're lucky on this gourd. I think we can just use a scraper tool to clean out the insides. Sometimes I have to use a drill and a ball thing that whirls to clean them up. But this one seems to be pretty easy. It looks like it's going to be easy to clean. So we just get in there and we scrape all the stuff membrane out. And again, you can see that there's all kinds of stuff in there. Moldy gourd innards. So here you can see our gourd with the opening. And now I'm gonna start, I'll do a lot more sanding on this later, but right now I wanna show you a little bit on the carving part of it. So, we can't use this bit. That's a little too pointy for what we need to do next. We're gonna go in here and take one of these bits, and it's called a wheel burr, and you can see it's kind of shaped like a wheel. And I'm gonna go in, and I'm gonna carve into most of these lines on the gourd. We'll give it some depth and make it stand out. And this bit's smoking. It's real warm today, and these are a little bit dull, so they do smoke a little bit. I've never caught a gourd on fire, but I've come close. So this gives you an idea of how this slices into the gourd and creates a, a little bit of a groove, a little bit of a separation to the parts. All right, I'm gonna go on carving this, but you you don't wanna stick around for all of that because it's gonna probably take me mm, three or four or five hours to get it carved. So I'll uh, come back to you when I have a lot more done and I can show you my progress. Here you can see I've added some stippling. I want to put a little bit of texture around the butterfly to give it a little different look. In addition, I've also added filigree to the arrowheads. Okay, we've finished carving, cutting, and painting the inside of our gourd. So you can see it looks like it's just about ready to decorate the outside. So here we are back in our studio to paint. The first thing I'm going to do is put some transparent archival fade resistant dye on all the parts of the gourd here that are uh, have not been carved. I've already put a little bit of toffee on my little palette which is an old can lid, works great. And um, I also added a little bit of thinner to it. So I'm going to take a little bit of a, a piece of baby wipe that's dried. I've used it for something else and then I dried it out. Mix, that way I'm recycling here. And I'm going to put this dye all over where I want it on the gourd. Now the problem with this stuff is it doesn't dry with a darn. You have to do what's called heat setting it. So I'll take my heat gun and I just blast on it and I can see on here as it's drying where it has dried. All right, now we've done a lot of work in the last few days. Got most of the gourd painted. We do have a little bit of detailing to do, but as you can see, the butterflies are all on. We got little circle, moons, planets, whatever you want to call it that they're sitting on, flowers. And now all that's left is a tiny bit of detailing to really make sure it looks good. All right, I do believe that this gourd is ready to be sprayed with some acrylic coating and then it will be done. And now our journey through the making of a gourd has come to an end. Here you can see the completed gourd. It has been sprayed with acrylic coating. It's UV resistant so it can tolerate some sunlight and it won't fade. And pretty much done. I want to thank you for joining me on this journey. And in just a moment, you will see a few more of the things that I have made and that I have that are available for you if you'd like. There will be contact information at the end of this video and on the Art for Heaven's Sake website. Thank you for joining me.